What is up Toyota fans? This is Andrew from Trailrunner Customs. Today we're back with my 2006 Toyota Sequoia. In this video we're going to be talking about how to wire up the grill lights on your TRD Pro grill. Now this video applies to all 2001 to 2007 first generation Sequoias. Now keep in mind all these components used in this wiring video are from the Trailrunner Customs wiring kit. These are included with all orders on our website. So included with the grill you get a little wiring kit. This has an add a fuse with the fuse a ring terminal, and then you have the harness itself. So we're gonna go over how to put these in. Now, if you haven't put your lights into the grill itself yet, this part's really easy. As you can see, the surface of the grill has a bunch of little hexagon shaped holes. These fit right into those. All you have to do is push the wire through and then go and push down on the clips and it snaps right into place. A lot of people like to put them across the top in a nice symmetrical pattern. So that's what I'm doing here. I just slide the lights through the holes, push down and they click right into place. They should have a nice snug fit, shouldn't be any wiggling or anything like that. So lifting the hood, the first thing you want to do is connect your wiring harness if you haven't yet. Uh, the wiring harness comes in the box. So the wiring harness has three light connectors that go into one wire itself. Here are the little pieces from the lights are hanging down. I'm just sliding them in. Again, once you put them in all the way, you'll hear a little click. That's how you know that they are locked in. Very easy to put in, um, pretty self-explanatory. That's pretty much it. Next, you're gonna want to grab the ring terminal that came in the little kit. As you can see, my little blue piece actually fell off, but what you're doing is you're taking the bare copper on the black wire and you're putting it in the little open end of the ring terminal. And then from there, you can take down your pliers and pinch it and you're basically crimping the copper wire in place. Also, if your blue piece comes off, you can just tape it with a little bit of electrical tape and it should just work fine. From here, I took my socket wrench and located the ground wire on the right side of the engine bay. This is screwed into the metal wall of the engine bay. It's just a nice little hex bolt you just take your socket wrench and unscrew it all the way. Keep in mind there's already a ground going into this bolt from the battery. So that's exactly where you should be screwing is right next to the battery. Once you take that out, just put your ring terminal around the bolt and then you can refasten it to the side of the engine bay the same way you took it off. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly how I wired everything up. Now because the daytime running lights and the headlights are always on, that is just a feature of the first generation Sequoia. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But because they are always on, there's not a way to connect it where they come on with just the headlights besides hiring, besides wiring them straight into the headlights, which is a little bit complex. So what I've done is I took my fuse tap and I just tapped it right into this fuse right here. Let me show you exactly what this fuse is. It is the... 15 amp headlamp left hand and what that does is anytime the car is on it will give these lights power so that's how you do it just to provide a little bit of clarity on that step because i know it was a little bit confusing i'm realizing that while editing but when you have your fuse tap you're going to put the 7.5 fuse on the bottom side like this and then when you pull the 15 amp headlight fuse you're going to use the same fuse you pulled and you're going to put it on the other side of the fuse tap, which creates a complete circuit. So again, just to reiterate, you have the 7.5 amp included in the package on the bottom side. You have the fuse you pulled from the fuse box on the top side, and then you just plug this back into the fuse. So yeah, just wanted to clear that up. So once you have the add fuse connected in the fuse box and the black wire grounded on the side of the car, Lights should be working, so you can go ahead and do some wire management and turn on the car. So what I ended up doing was I took zip ties and I kind of did a little bit of wire management here. Uh, I ran this and then I zip tied it to this rubber piece down here to the hood arm and then back in here. That way it just keeps the wires out of the way. So let's see what it looks like while it's on. 
So with that, you successfully wired up your Sequoia grill lights for your first gen Sequoia. Now, if you want to check out more about this product, product information, stuff like that, you can click the link in the description of this video. It'll take you to our website. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.